everyone, welcome back. For those of you that watch the tent videos and have followed along the last couple years, I always have to haul my water in there for drinking. And I've talked about putting in a hand pump well. And you know, as time has went by, you talk about it. Well, I'm finally gonna go ahead and do it. And the reason why I haven't done one yet up there is because for most people, they can drive the well into the ground with a post hole digger or whatever. Um, I can't do that up there. It's way too gravelly, big rocks, some rocks that are huge. So I have to dig a hole and drop the well down in there. But with all the research that I did on the internet, it was really hard for me to find something that I could really, uh, there was just too much information. Doing a well like this is really simple, and if you read everything about it, it actually seems quite complicated. I've got all the parts here, and in this uh, video here, we're gonna go through all the parts I need to do that well, and then there'll be follow-up videos when I do put it in. The well I'm gonna install is gonna be a shallow well, which means it's gonna be 25 feet or less. So for me, I could have went with an inch and a quarter pipe, and that actually, the pitcher pump is what I'm going with right now, and that type pump actually comes with an inch and a quarter as its outlet, or inlet, however you want to look at it. But uh, if you're going to do one that's greater than 25 feet, or if you're going to run a stand type pump, you want to run a 2 inch, and you can use a 2 inch on your pitcher pump. So I went with 2 inch, I wanted more volume, and I, you know, the pitcher pumps works really good, but they're open on top. I'm eventually going to want something more closed, and I like the looks of, a, of the stand. When people have a well in like that, I mean, it kind of ends up being part of the landscape, and eventually I'll find one that I really like. But I wanted to be set up for anything, so I went ahead and went with the 2-inch, and that really was not very much more expensive. I'm probably talking under $50 to go with that. And I just, I bought um, all this stuff from just one of your big box lumberyard type stores, and uh, this drawing came with it that explained it real well how they work. This here is the box that I bought the pitcher pump in. It was un just under $50 for the pump. And like I said, I'm gonna get a much more expensive one. They make some really nice pumps that are the stand pumps, and they'll run you three, four, 500 bucks. And eventually, I'll probably get one of those. But for right now, I just got a cheapy pitcher pump so I can pump water. And uh, if I do get a more expensive one and put it in, I can just take this one off, put it into storage, and if anything were to break on the other pump, I would have it. But anyway, that's exactly what we're going to do. Pump on the top, pipe goes down, sand point on the bottom. Okay, so this right here is what a sand point looks like. This is about a three foot sand point. They are different kinds. Some of them have bigger holes on the outside, but they have a fine screen on the inside, so I don't think it really matters. Once again, this is a two inch. It's pretty heavy actually. And this is about three feet long. When I dig this well, now I'm only going to be down, I don't know, 14 feet or so, not too deep. We hit water at about four and a half, five feet there, so I'll be well into the water table. And at the folks' place, uh, their cabin, they have, it's indoor plumbing now, if you guys have watched that video, but for the first uh, 22, 23 years or whatever, it was just a, a hand pump. That's how we did our water, and we drank out of it all the time, for <laughs> all that time. I am going to get this water tested once I get this well in, but this basically this and the pitcher pump are all the parts I needed to buy. All this pipe I have is pre-threaded, so I don't have to do any cutting or get a threader to do it. The sand point comes with one, it's threaded. I've got a coupler, this coupler is going to go on here. I'll be putting pipe tape on there to make sure that it stays waterproof. That goes there. This one will screw into here. At the end of that pipe, we're going to run another coupler. Once that's on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put another pipe on here. This is a four footer. The other one was a six. So there we have all the piping put together for the length we're going to do here. Now you can do, like you've seen before, up to 25 feet with these wells. You can go a lot deeper with a, with a deeper well, but basically it's the same design. All right, so now when we get to the top of the well here, like I said, I'm coming up with two inch, but our uh, the pump itself has an inch and a quarter, and we could have done inch and a quarter, but we went with two. So I have to put a reducer on here from two inch to inch and a quarter. And then I have to put in a piece of inch and a quarter, like this, that's threaded on two sides. And now we're ready for the pump. If we turn that well pump over, you can see right here is where that's going to go. So now I have to fasten this into here. 
So that was very simple. This is the whole well. There's our pump. Here's our piping. And here's our sand point. When I dig this well up there, the uh, water level for me is going to be probably about where this joint is or a little bit above in here. So I'm going to actually dig down with a backhoe and I'm going to go down this far so my L really be down there into the water. Then I'm going to stand this up, make sure it's level, and then backfill it. Okay everyone, well I hope that helped. Um, like I said, I had to do a lot of research and I wanted to make a simple, straightforward video. These are the parts you need for a shallow hand pump well. I realize that there's many ways to do it. Some people can run plastic and they just run a hose and it pushes down. Some people drive it. I can't do that. So anyway, those are the parts you need. I'm going up this weekend. I only have uh, one more day. I'm going up uh, just in a couple days here. And if uh, they have the back hole ready, fixed, and it's there, I'm going to dig, dig this well this weekend. But if not, I will post that video maybe the following weekend if I dig it then. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching.